Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and I gotta warn you right up front, this video has absolutely nothing to do with game development. So if you're here for a game development video, uh, you might want to come back and check, probably tomorrow hopefully, there'll be something directly game development related up on the channel then. But today I actually ran into something that I just found so bloody cool that I figured I would share it with all of you. And this is kind of one of those things that's been... I don't know, a bit of a pet peeve of mine, but I never really researched how to fix it. And that is making the Windows 10 start menu not so ugly. And what I'm talking about here is when you showed up on a start menu, now ignore part of it that's looking pretty good in my opinion, but you'll see things like, say here, I'm not picking on Godot, but look at the Godot icon here. And it's, it's scrunched up and small. Um, and what I wanted to have is for, and I don't know why this isn't the default behavior, but for this to actually fill in the whole tile like these ones do here, like Blender does, etc. That looks so much better. Now you do have the option, you can right click and you can resize it so I can make it small, in which case, you know, it actually, it still looks pretty awful to be honest, but when you resize it up to medium, the icon only shows a very small portion of it. And I can't stand this. The aesthetic side of me thinks this looks hideous. And I can't believe that Microsoft out of the box haven't done something to fix this, especially with the, the start menu being more and more customizable and more and more to people's liking, you know, after the whole Windows 7 upgrade anyways, they don't add this functionality, which blows my mind. But today I discovered there is a completely free utility called, um, as you probably Probably guessed from the uh, title graphic, Tile Iconifier, and this is godsend. So I figured I'd share it with you. Um, you know, maybe you'd find it useful as well. Basically, just head on over to GitHub. Uh, I'll link this down below instead of reading the URL out to you. Um, again, completely free, completely open source. If you want to audit it, I never actually checked out what code it's written in. Um, not that it really matters, but I'm guessing this is, yeah, C-sharp. Um, so if you're interested, the C-sharp code is available here on GitHub, but what you really just wanna do is come on down here and grab the zip install. Um, am I back to the root? Yeah, on the root, so you can grab the, uh, the 64-bit uh, the or the 32-bit versions uh, here as zip files. Now when you download them, uh, da, 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 da. okay, why are you all not what I want? Just go to my downloads folder here. Once downloaded, you'll see it just comes in as a zip file. That zip file contains a single executable, which is completely portable, no installation required, nothing else. And then once it's in, just go ahead and download it. So it will fire up, and what it's gonna do is it's gonna do a quick scan of what is currently installed on your computer. Um, so give it a minute. It's gonna go through all the shortcuts that are currently available. And you'll see here all the various different options I have available in my current start menu, uh, including in the all program section down here. Um, so what we see, we'll, we'll use the Godot as an example. So I can just load, locate Godot here. So there's Godot picked. It's picked up the executable path, the link path, etc. And then just come on over here, click the icon. It creates a short one and a, like a big one and a small one for you. Uh, you can change the background color here and you can also use this to take existing icons and swap out their background color in case you say, for example, hate uh, the purple background on Visual Studio as an example. So you can change the icons there as you wish and then just click Tile Iconify and bang, we're done actually. So if I come back here, open my start menu up, you'll now see Godot looks a heck of a lot better. And if I minimize that guy down, it, it, it uses the whole space. There's not all that stupid dead space. Again, I don't know why Microsoft didn't just make it work this way out of the box, but it's nice to see this great little open source tool that comes out there and makes it so that my start menu looks so much better than it did. And I don't know why this gets to me. It's just one of those things that, I don't know, it, I, it just looked awful before. So I'm glad I found this tool and that's why I decided to share it, even though it isn't directly game development related. And actually while we're talking about the tool, um, there's also other options you've got here. You can go over here and actually create your custom shortcut manager. And this is actually pretty cool if you're a uh, Steam gamer, for example. Uh, you can come on over here and create a new shortcut and you can actually create shortcuts to several different special things such as uh, special folders, custom folders. And in this particular case, I'm gonna go ahead with Steam. So say for example, I wanted to have a Divinity Original Sin icon created. Uh, I'd pick it out that way and I'd basically just generate shortcut. Um, so now you gotta pin it yourself. So it will be available in a folder, they said. I don't know where that folder went. I think it's in my full start. So you see right here, and I can go pin to start. And now I have got this icon directly to a Steam game. And you see it will be available right there. So, <laughs> It's just a cool little utility. I figured I'd share it with you guys. Again, completely free. If you're a Windows user and you, like me, hate the 
uh, you know, non-metro icons being these little squares inside. Um, here's something you can do about it. You can use this guy to fix it. Um, you've actually got a, a great deal of control over it. You can also, yeah, let me just close that down, close that down. Uh, you can also change the text color. So you can see here my text on the front here is in white, getting obscured a little bit. Uh, so if you prefer that to be dark color, you can change that right here. And you can also go ahead and delete the shortcut after the fact, or you can remove the, the settings that you've made. So if I go back here to uh, Godot and I decide I don't like what I've done there, I can just remove Iconify and it goes back to the way it was before. So you don't really have any risk on using this. If you change your mind, you know, the extent of what you do is basically have to go through the changes you've made and unchange them. So I hope you enjoyed that. Hope some of you guys found that useful. Again, completely not game development related, but it's just one of those things that, um, great little utility, so I figured I'd share it with you. Uh, let me know what you think in comments down below. I hope you find this useful as well. I hope it, it might be that there is a way to do this out of the box that I was just unaware of. Again, I'm just flabbergasted that Microsoft doesn't have this ability built in out of the box. So if I'm just missing it, and this utility is completely and utterly you know, pointless, <laughs> do let me know that in the comments down below as well. All right, and like I said, there's should be some game development related content coming uh, probably tomorrow. Uh, so do stay tuned. All right. I will see you all later. Goodbye.